I was uh, recently uh, traveling and there was a man standing there in the luggage area and he had a Vanderbilt hat. He's about my age, so I knew he wasn't a freshman. And I said, did you go to Vanderbilt? He said, oh, my son is there. I love Vanderbilt. And it's really one of these unique institutions where because of the, the traditions of the university, because of its many alumni, friends, and increasingly parents, that you cannot go anywhere without running into Vanderbilt. And uh, in, in, in my time at Vanderbilt, that's what I enjoy the most. You know, it's my former student, it's alumni, it's someone who works here running into somebody from Vanderbilt that was a former student of mine or that they had helped recruit to Vanderbilt. So I think it's, uh, there's real magic on this campus. And I was just talking to some seniors the other day. And, you know, when you go into your senior year at Vanderbilt, you know, there's some students who are maybe eager to get out there and, you know, get their apartments. But it's really interesting when these students say, this is my last year here. It's a, it's sacred ground. But I tell them, I said, Vanderbilt's all out in the world. Go to any city, go to any county. You will find Vanderbilt people and you will have those memories for the rest of your life. And um, that's what the, the time here really does. It gives you memories and it gives you connections to things that are just, they'll define your life. I, mean, I, I think that, um, I think I'd always remain gainfully employed since I was a lawyer and I'm a hard worker, but you know, the real gift Vanderbilt has given to me is all the students and alumni and parents and people that I've been able to work with and know and teach and learn from. And it's just phenomenal. You know, I feel like I should pay tuition. Do you ever go in your backyard and you once planted a tree and the tree's just bigger and it's different? And people say, well, what day did the tree grow? When did it change? And when you work on the campus for 20 years, there's this strange kind of combination of feelings of, wow, we have a new hospital. This has really changed. We're building a new freshman campus. This has really changed. You know, the, the students are, are diverse and they're different and they, they're uh, uh, dressed in different ways. They're going to vote in different elections. But at the end of the day, every time I come to work, I say, this is Vanderbilt. And that's the, the, the remarkable process of change that I think we've gone through in the 20 years. I interviewed here 20 years ago for a position in the law school as an assistant professor, and I said, boy, the students are really nice, the faculty are really smart. It's got the feeling of a liberal arts college in the middle of a great city. So now when I talk about faculty coming and faculty come and teach our students or students come and they say, boy, the students are really nice, the professors are accessible, and it's a beautiful campus in the middle of a city. So I think the magic we have at Vanderbilt is like that tree. It grows, but it's still that tree. And it's going to keep growing. It's going to have new branches. Um, but, you know, my hope is that if someone from the class of 1948 comes by, and I've had this experience, and they, probably two-thirds of the buildings, three-fourths of the buildings are new, and they walk across the campus and they say, oh, you know, I remember here, I remember there, I remember the Vaughn House. This is Vanderbilt. And I'm thinking we have medical research buildings, two hospitals. You know, we have all these new buildings. The professors are totally different. The students are different. But every night I go home, I want to say, boy, this has changed. The range of inquiry is different. The subjects we study, there are different perspectives. That's the advance of knowledge. But I always say to myself, can I look in the mirror and say, still Vanderbilt? And that's really the magic that happens. That mixture of tradition, taking those values forward and then saying, what is our program is in Middle Eastern Islamic studies? You know, there's an imperative in certain areas to, to study, to, to take on new fields of inquiry. But, you know, Vanderbilt is always going to be Vanderbilt.
And I think in some ways that's the way it should be.